The subject of this series is the environment, environ, the umwelt I saw in one of the presentations. On what earth do we live? Where to land, asked Bruno Latour. It's a question that has been going through my work for a few years and that I approach in two ways, through theater on the one hand and through architecture, design, cartography on the other. Two ways of approaching the very complex and delicate question of habitability, of space, which is being disrupted in thousands of ways through collapsing soils, through population movements, through the issue of limited resources. When we think of the Earth, it's the image of the globe that appears in our mind, the blue marble, pictures by the NASA on one of their trip to the moon, the famous iconic image photographed exactly 50 years ago, a globe lost in the vastness of the cosmos. A cosmos where other similar celestial objects uh, fly, so to speak. Let's call them Galilean objects. I have worked for a long time on these images, on this star revealed by the overhanging and vertical gaze that was invented in the 17th century. I have worked on the promises of cosmic travel that it conceals. I have worked and I was fascinated by the beauty of the Earth seen from afar, like in this writhing Earth. These images fascinated me, but in recent years, I have come down to Earth, so to speak, in a way. The question that now concerns me is to rediscover the phenomenological experience of what it means to inhabit the Earth. I don't have the answer of that question, of course, but most of my projects consist in collecting other stories and images, rougher in a way that add uh, this smooth image, such as the composite, immersive, and heterogeneous culture by Sarah Zeh. 